Okay, yes, I know, this is a late upload, I'm sorry. I have an excuse though, and I think it will actually change Valorant for you, or at least maybe for me, right? So just, just hear me out for a second. So my excuse is that I did the impossible, which was touching grass as a Valorant player. I left for a week, it was like a university trip, I drank ungodly amounts of alcohol, and that's probably all I'll say, because I know that you guys don't really care about my personal life or me at all. Unless you do, then let me know. Anyways, so I'm going to con contradict myself a ton during this, but I want you to hear me out, because everything is kind of interlinked. Everything has a max, like a min and a max value, and we need to start min-maxing so we can find that safe middle value. My gosh, I have done far too much computer science. Anyway, so I didn't play for the week that I was away, and that officially means I basically had a break from gaming and from Valorant and from sitting at my desk doing schoolwork and playing video games as a majority of my life, as well as partying, but let's not talk about that. So I actually existed outside of gaming and just didn't really think about gaming. I, I replied to your comments. I was really happy to see the views go up and, you know, stuff like that. But I kind of just left the Valorant scene. I just kind of disappeared for a while. And there is actually something really powerful about that. Right? I feel like we all need to have lives. And I'll talk about that in a different video. I have about three different videos planned with connected topics. So I'm just going to be very careful with where I tread on this one. But I feel like when we keep playing and we get on the rank grind, as we call it, I feel like we get too trapped within our own minds. You know, it's all about checking this corner and it's all about, you know, trying our best to get that perfect one tap, it, you know, being as fast as possible, aim training, checking this angle, you know, watching this guide. And we just get so much in our heads, or at least I do, that I just get overwhelmed with it all, you know? And then you've got teammates screaming at you, gunshots blaring, and then it just becomes a little much. So what happened with the break, right? The footage you're watching now is from around an hour ago. I was playing during class, so I couldn't really have my comms on. And I'm also a terrible influence on you guys, my gosh. But I, f I felt really good about this game. Um, I, I did a really good first half. My second half wasn't so great. But I feel like I've played better today than I did the week before the break. And I think I just got so cooped up in it all, you know, about expectations from my friends, this, that, and the other. And now that I'm back, everything just feels nicer. And I think it's one related to my theory about just being able to catch up. But I also think it's that I broke down into the more core gameplay mechanics. You know, one, I had low expectations for myself. I knew that I wasn't going to play, like, to my peak performance. I knew that I was going to miss things and I was going to make mistakes. But I started focusing more. Like, I was really locked in on, you know, this is going to be my aim. This is where I'm going to recon. This is when I'm going to use my drone. Now, I may have done the wrong drones and the wrong recons at the wrong time. But I was being aware of my actions. I wasn't. I knew I'm going to hold this angle or... I need to be, I need to slow down with this guy because I, I, I run at a high speed internally. So slowing down is a whole thing for me. And that will be another video. So let's, let's stop there. But playing more paranoid, I felt like was a better thing. I, I have a feeling just our mindsets get so boggled. So perhaps playing in the way that I did this round is a way that we need to play when we're one, rusty, or two, just having a bad day. You know, I, I'm pushing angles more confidently because I'm expecting somebody to be there. I'm not just relying on my occasionally crazy aim. So may, maybe that's the very thing, right? Just playing a little bit safer. Now, I did have this one clip that I don't think I saved, sadly. But there was this jet hiding in a corner, and I didn't expect them to be there, so I had my recon dart out. I shot the dart, and in the time it took for me to shoot the dart, realized jet was there, because I, I eventually checked the corner, of course, and then pull out my gun. Jet was, you know, able to kill me. But I realized I had like a solid second where I had my crosshair perfectly on their head. Just absolute gonna be perfect shot. 
movement cancelled, like I, I, I counter strafed or whatever, it was gonna be a good kill, provided that I had actually checked the angle properly. So yeah, I made a rusty and silly mistake, and silver lobbies are also like god awful. But at the same time, I just realized that I had the time to make that shot. I, I could have made that shot. And maybe I'm not as rusty as I thought. Maybe I just need to learn my sense again. I need to learn these little bits and bobs again. Uh, so I think just in the end, we all need to take little breaks sometimes. Which is a tough thing to say because I want to keep playing. You know, I, I have these two YouTube channels which are Valorant oriented. Like, I have to play Valorant, right? I've, I've got to do something. So maybe we need to sit down, step back, play differently. Just, just do something new for a second so we can improve in this you know i i came back feeling just better about things in general I, I was less stressed about school i was less stressed about you know trying to get another video out like here i am making a video a day late and i'm i'm okay because i think you guys will understand so maybe we need to fix our mindsets to fix our gameplay which is actually going to be the next video um, I didn't actually intend it to be, but click on the screen right now and you can go to that video once I upload it. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much for 100 subs. I'll see you next time. Sorry for the weird video. I, I feel like this one's crap. I'm, I'm sorry, but I hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.